Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about interviewing for DevOps slash SRE position. So just in my, my background, I've been in operations slash SRE manager uh, for a good five years plus. Um, I've had a, about 27 or 28 people work for me in those five years. And in those years, I've only lost one person to through attrition in, in those five years. So I've, basically only one person has quit on me uh, I, uh, the whole time that I've been a manager for either DevOps, SRE, or operations manager in general. Uh, in the process, I have interviewed a good 20 people, uh, and I myself have been interviewed for DevOps and SRE roles several times in the last uh, good um, seven, eight years. So those are my experiences that, that um, tells you where I'm coming from. I wanted to tell you uh, today, what is the most likely reason uh, or where in the process you are getting denied an offer? Uh, the answer may surprise you. So the way the process works is once a recruiter, either internal or external, places the resume into the hands of a hiring manager, the hiring manager takes a look like the resume. If he or she sees what uh, he or she likes, then you get an interview with the hiring manager. Generally, when you talk to the recruiter, they're paid based on how many people they can actually move up. So their in incentive is to push you up the channel to the hiring manager. So they almost never deny you an, an interview with with uh, hiring manager unless your resume or your experience doesn't really match what they're looking for. Now, once you have um, made it to the hiring manager, your chances are probably around 50%, 60% to get to the next level. Because by the time you get to the hiring manager, he's probably been trying to get this position filled for a while. It was probably wasn't approved for months, and finally it's approved. Finally, the recruiters got you, got somebody they could potentially hire. So he's actually eager to hire somebody like you. Unless you fail the interview with the hiring manager, where you might get a mix of non-technical and non-technical questions, he will probably pass you on to a, a panel interview, either with maybe two or three engin senior engineers, or serial interviews, basically you can have one after another, uh, maybe two or three senior engineers in the company. Generally speaking, non-engineer interviews uh, are not hard. They're probably passing, on, passing you on. So you will get interviewed by one or more senior engineers, senior SREs. Chances are this, these SREs have a vested interest to hiring somebody really good because they're not, they don't want to spend time uh, they want to spend as little time possible training and coaching you and giving you the tribal knowledge that that they have in the company. So their interest is in is in 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 hiring somebody who's already good, right? So when you go to the interview, they're the ones who 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 are going to ask you the tough technical questions, and they're the ones who are going to stop you from getting an offer. So just so you know how this process works, right? Once you pass this, the interviews with the senior engineers, you come back to the hiring manager probably or, or the director who, who the, the SRE manager reports to. So my point of this video today is you're, you, you, you should not stress too much about the recruiter. You should not stress too much about the hiring manager. Your job is to get ready for this interview, technical interview with the senior manager. Maybe, maybe it's a coding interview for Terraform or what have you, or maybe it's a system design interview, or maybe it's a combination of, of all those things. Maybe some Ansible, maybe some Terraform, maybe some um, Jenkins, or maybe some CICD pipeline questions, maybe some cloud question with AWS or DCP, whichever one they happen to use, or some scenario question that may have come up in their company already. So again, the, the whole point of this video is to let you know that you should be preparing for the senior engineer technical interview. That's where you're getting stuck. That's who is stopping you from getting an offer as a junior or even a senior DevOps slash SRE engineer. So I hope this video has been useful to you. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And that really helps me with me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next um, video.